Hello everyone, long time no see. Thank you so much for being a part of this Cuphead journey with me. I can't believe it's been two years since I posted that first video. And it was something that I did because I know that people were interested in finding out the person behind the voice. So I grabbed some of my friends and we decided to just put a version up for you to hear. And I, the response has been overwhelming. So thank you so much. I appreciate you. I really, really, truly am thankful. Now let's get into your questions. Before you announce the Q&A, why didn't you normally upload every week? Not to be rude or anything. Were you busy with something? <laughs> I really like this question. To be honest, I didn't expect this video to do as wonderfully as it did. I'm not a YouTuber and I am really busy. Not only do I do video games, but I do animation, theater, and I'm a singer with um, a major artist. So I was basically touring all of last year. Um, so I didn't really get an opportunity to sit down and actually record something else. But it's a good question. And uh, to answer, I am looking at doing more covers. How was your childhood? I had a great childhood. I'm the youngest in my family of six children. And I was very hyper and I came late in life to my mom. So there was always a lot going on. My mom used to have like an open kitchen on Sunday. The neighborhood would always come over and eat. And growing up was really great for me. I didn't have a lot of money. We never did. My mom was single and was raising all of us. So it was, I didn't really feel poverty because we were always together. And if, if it was one meal and we all shared it, it was all amazing. So I had a really great childhood and I also did a lot of theater growing up and I was in the opera chorus. So I was always doing something. What inspired you to sing? Being the youngest means that you have to get your voice in somehow. And I was always talking, trying to cut in, and I was always being told to shut up because I was just hyper all the time. And then one day I was, you know, listening to music and I was singing along and all of a sudden people around me were silent. And I realized that if I sing, then no one will tell me to shut up. <laughs> so that's basically how I started singing. And then I started listening to music on the radio and trying to emulate what I was hearing. And it just became a part of me. Who are your favorites? My favorite singer of all time was Whitney Houston and still is. I still listen to her music from time to time. I also listened to Aretha Franklin, but then I also listened to Guess Who, a Canadian band. And uh, I, I listened to all different types of music. Have you played Cuphead? Unfortunately, I am not good at video games. I've tried and I'm terrible at them. I never pass the first level, but I have a lot of nephews and my godson who've played the game and tell me that it's amazing and they love it when they get into the room and hear my voice after winning. What struggles did you have to go through to get where you are today? I mean, there's a lot of struggles. Not only am I in an industry that is competitive, but I'm a black woman in an industry that has for many years not really seen us. And so trying to break through that ceiling is a difficult one, especially when it comes to animation. Um, recently, you've heard a lot of things about people that are doing voices that would be for voices of color. However, they're not of color. So there's been a lot of talk recently about the changes that are coming to make sure that there's representation in video games, in animation, theater, film. This one is probably one of the most um, asked questions that I've received. Are you a man? 
yes, yeah, so I am not a man. I am a woman. I was born female and I have a daughter. And so although I'm not opposed to people thinking that I'm trans, uh, I'm not trans and I don't want to ever uh, come across as trying to be something that I'm not. So yes, I am a woman. How do you do the voice? So the way that I do the voice is I'm an alto, which is the lowest voice in the female category when it comes to singing. It means that I can sing very close to many men. And so I'm able to put my voice in a particular area to bring a richness and a deepness that you hear. On top of that, I add a little bit of growl in it so that I get the sense of that Cab Calloway sound that was something that was asked of me by Christopher Madigan. And he was in love with the music and he gave me a lot of freedom to try different things because he wasn't really sure where it was gonna go and whether it was gonna be more female sounding or whatnot. So it just happened that I came up with this voice, did it, and he loved it. Was your voice edited? As far as I know, the voice was not manipulated in any way outside of the fact that there might have been reverb. But in terms of changing the timbre of my voice, everything is there. And when you listen closely, I'm sure that you're able to hear it. It's just the same thing as when I do, well, Cuphead gambled with the devil. But I can also change it. So I can make it high, I can make it clearer. Well, Cuphead gambled with the devil. Is it hard on your voice? No, it's not. It takes a lot of practice. I have to warm up. It's really important to keep the voice warm, but it does not hurt my voice and it's not hard on my voice. All right, we've come to the last question, which is a big question that many of you have asked, and I think that I should answer it. Um, and I've already gotten clearance to answer it, so there's no problem in that. Are you going to be in the Cuphead show? So that is a, a big no. And the reason for that is that the show is being done by Netflix and Netflix does all of their casting in house. And it was important for them to have two different entities. So there's the video game entity where I am Mr. King Dice. And then there's the animated series where I am not Mr. King Dice. So that is the reason why I'm not doing the show. There's no animosity or any bad feelings in it because I completely understand and a lot of companies do that, especially if, for example, they do the show and it's a no-go, they don't wanna have a situation where it's like, well, now no one's gonna to wanna to play the video game. So uh, it's the way that the business works and I am fully in support of whoever comes on to be Mr. King Dice and I hope that they're fabu fabulous. Thank you so much for tuning in to this Q&A. Um, I really appreciate all the support that you've given me over these last couple of years. Please um, continue to subscribe to my channel, let people know I will be transitioning, so I'll be doing more covers and uh, singing more tunes for you. If any of you are interested in having me sing in the voice of Mr. King Dice, um, I will look into doing cameos. I'm not sure about it, but I'll look into setting up some type of account where you can get at me. Let me know if it's something that you'd like to hear or if there's any songs that you'd like me to sing. And if I'm able to do them, then I will post them. So thank you so much. There's also going to be um, some information and a link to the Actors Fund of Canada as well. For those of you who are interested in donating to me as I am going to be doing my own album, please feel free to contribute. There will be a GoFundMe uh, in, this, in this page. So thank you so much. Take care and I wish you all the best. Please stay safe, flatten the curve, wear the masks. They're important and hopefully I'll see you soon. Take care.